Question 13, express 180 as a product of its prime factors. So, in order to do this, we're going to use a factor 3. So, 180 can be written as 2 times 90. 2 is a prime number, I'll draw a line under that, but 90 is not, so I've got to keep going. 90 can be written as 2 times 45. 2 is prime, 45 is not, let's keep going. 45 can be written as... Um, 5 times 9, 5 is a prime number, 9 is not, so we're going to keep going, and 9 can be written as 3 times 3. Now the important thing to remember here is it asks for a product of its prime numbers, so it's 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 5. Product means multiplication, don't put commas in here, we need multiplication symbols, or you can write it more simply as 2 to the power 2 times 3 to the power 2 times 5. Next part says Martin thinks of two numbers. He says the highest common factor of my two numbers is 6. He says that the lowest common multiple of my two numbers is a multiple of 15. Write down two possible numbers that Martin is thinking of. Now, in order to do this one, to explain it, I'm going to use a Venn diagram. Hopefully, you've seen this way of doing um, writing prime factors and HCFs and things like that. Um, so, with the Venn diagram method, normally, the HCF of the two numbers is found by multiplying everything in here. So, what could be in here? We're going to put some prime numbers in here. It's always prime numbers. So I'm going to put a 2 and a 3, because 2 times 3 is 6. So I've satisfied that. Now, the LCM is found by taking the HCF, what's in here, and multiply it by everything else. Now, I need to take these numbers here, which is uh, the product of these numbers, which is 6. And I need to multiply by something so that it's a multiple of 15. So, thinking carefully. If I was to put the prime number 2 here, let's say 2 times 3 is 6. 6 times 2 is 12. That's no good, because 12 is not a uh, multiple of 15. What if I was to put the prime number 3? We'd have 6 times 3, which is 18, which is not a multiple of 15. How about 5? 2 times 3 is 6. 6 times 5 is 30, and 30 is a multiple of 15. So, let's see, what would our two numbers be? Uh, let's say... The, one of the numbers must be 6 from these two. 2 times 3 is 6. And then the other number must be 2 times 3 times 5, which is 30. And let's see, the highest common factor of 6 and 30 is indeed 6. And the lowest common multiple of 6 and 30 is 180. And 180 is a multiple of 15. So that's two possible numbers that Martin could have been thinking of.